In this video, we're gonna take a look at the top five most expensive subdivisions in Macon, Georgia. What's up everyone? My name is Misha Thompson, your favorite middle Georgia real estate agent. And today we're gonna talk about the five most expensive neighborhoods in Macon, Georgia. And whether you live in one of those or you don't, it's always interesting to see how much people are actually willing to spend to live in one of those subdivisions. So if you are interested in more information about those pricey places in Macon, Georgia, keep watching the video because we're gonna start right now. Dogwood Estates right off Mosley Dixon Road in Macon. And properties in that subdivision were built anywhere from 1994 till 2005. And the square footage range on those properties ranges anywhere from 26 to 4,700 square foot and 4,700 square foot is a lot of house. Those houses sit on lots anywhere between one to 1.9 acres. And the price range in that neighborhood over the last two years was a pretty broad one, $260,000 to $690,000. The most expensive home that sold in 2021 sold for $657,000. And this property sits on 1.27 acres and has 4,657 square foot, features four bedrooms, and five bathrooms. There is no data of an HOA for Dogwood Estates, so I could not give you that. If there is an HOA and you know about it, put it in the comments below, but I was not able to find any information about the HOA. And if you wonder what tax for this property would run you if you would own this property, in 2020, the tax for that property was $8,844. Coming in at number four is Peninsula Point right off of Highway 74. Only one property sold there, and it's a new construction that sits on 10.3 acres. That's it's a humongous lot. The house itself has around 3,765 square foot, which is pretty average in this area. And it has six bedrooms, but seven bathrooms. Come on. Who wants to clean seven bathrooms? I mean, who's using seven bathrooms? Are you gonna use every hour a different toilet? I mean, I would not need seven bathrooms and I sure don't want to clean seven bathrooms. But on the other hand, you do not have a bathroom shortage if you have people coming to your house. So if you have a lot of parties and a lot of people coming, they don't have to wait for each other to use one of the bathrooms because you got seven of them. There is an HOA for that subdivision. It's $800 a year and the tax for the most expensive property, which there is only one, is $4,636.36. And that is pretty cheap. But the house was also built in 2020, so it's the first tax assessment year and it might go up a bit over the next couple of years. Coming in at number three of the most expensive subdivision is Weddiston. And Weddiston is located right off of Cibolon Road in Macon. And homes were built in that subdivision anywhere from 2010 to 2019. And those homes sit on lots anywhere from 1.8 to 3.8 acres. The square footage range is not as broad as in other subdivisions. Houses in that subdivision range anywhere from 4,000 to 5,000 square foot. The prices of homes sold in that subdivision over the last two years was anywhere from 400,000 all the way up to $785,000. The most expensive home that sold in that subdivision in 2021 sold for $784,500 and sits on 3.88 acres. That's a big lot and it's a big price tag as well. This home features four bedrooms, five bathrooms and a total square footage of 4,812 square feet. This property in that subdivision in general has an HOA and the HOA in that subdivision runs you around $900 a year. In 2020, the tax for that property were $5,396 compared to what is coming. That is a pretty, pretty small price tag and compared to other states and cities, that is very low as well. Number two is Kalaparshi Plantations. And I don't know if I pronounced that correctly because I could not find how to really pronounce it. So if you know it, put it in the comments below, but this subdivision is located right off of 
Kala Parshi Road in Macon, Georgia. Houses in that subdivision were constructed anywhere from 1997 to 2003, and those properties sit on lots anywhere from three to four acres. The square footage range in that subdivision is anywhere from 3,000 to 7,100 square foot. Those are some humongous houses. And over the last two years, the price range in that subdivision was 600 to $910,000. So those are some expensive houses, some large houses, and they sit on humongous lots. I know some people who watch this video and they are from California or anywhere else, they're like, $600,000. I get a one bed, one bath condo for that. In Georgia, you get a lot more and 910,000 or 600,000 as well is a pretty expensive house down here. The most expensive home in that subdivision sold in 2021 for $904,000. This property sits on a 3.1 acre lot and has 7,585 square foot. That's a lot of square footage and a lot of land to live on. Whew, that's a lot. With those 7,585 square foot, this home features five bedrooms and seven bathrooms. Again, a lot of bathrooms, but this time you actually got seven bathrooms, one per each thousand square foot, while the other one with 3,600 square foot had seven bathrooms. You take a lot of square footage away from the house if you have seven bathrooms on a 3,600 square foot home. I did not find any data on HOA in that subdivision. There possibly is an HOA, but I could not find what the HOA is out there. But I can tell you the tax for that property in 2020 were $11,185.54. So that is double of the most expensive house in the last subdivision. Coming in at the most expensive subdivision in Macon, Georgia is Camden North right off of Forsyth Road. Homes in that subdivision were constructed anywhere from 2007 to 2020. And those homes sit on lots anywhere from one to 1.5 acres. And the square footage range of houses in that subdivision ranges anywhere from 3,700 to 7,600 square foot homes. And over the last two years, the price range of homes in that subdivision was anywhere from 600,000 to $1 million. The most expensive home has also the most expensive price tag on the list of the most expensive subdivisions. This home sold in 2021 for $940,000. It sits on 1.2 acres and has 7,602 square feet. This house features six bedrooms and five bathrooms. This is a smaller lot, but a humongous house. The HOA in that subdivision is $1,200 a year. And if you wondered about a tax, well, I got you covered. The tax for that property in 2020 were $13,283. That is a pretty big tax price tag especially for middle Georgia, but this is also the most expensive home when it comes to tax in those expensive subdivisions. Well, everyone, this was my little video about the five most expensive subdivisions in Macon, Georgia. And I did a couple of those most expensive subdivision videos. If you wanna check them out, check out my most expensive subdivision playlist up here and let me know what you liked or what you didn't like. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, smash that like button and maybe hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.